Hi, I'm Mike uh, from FreshBooks, and we're here at Future Web Apps in Miami. Uh, and with me presently, I have uh, Leah Culver from Pounce. Leah, thanks for uh, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you. Okay, cool. So we've got some standard questions we want to ask. Uh, one of them is, uh, you know, what's your favorite thing about Miami? Uh, so far, it's been the the mojitos, but that's it's also got me in a little trouble. So. <laughs> Yeah, a little. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Um, how about uh, when you came to this conference? Um, was there anyone you were hoping you might get the opportunity to meet? Um. Oh, opportunity to meet. I really wanted to meet Kathy Sierra. I had never met her before. So a lot of these people that are speaking, I've met before at other conferences or in the Bay Area, and I hadn't met her yet. And she she gave a great talk. Well, what was it? What did you take away from it? Um. I, I guess just the, the way she analyzed, you know, how people react to your your applications was really interesting. Cool. Nothing, in, nothing too specific. Right? Okay, so can you, can you tell us a little bit about the application that you're building, Pounce? Um, so the idea behind Pounce is that it's a what I call a social messaging application. So it's basically you're able it's it's a social network and it's focused on messaging. So so you make friends like you do on a social network and then. Um, you can then send messages of type message, or you can send links, or you can send files, or you can send events. So we have like different types. So. Okay, for, for someone who that wouldn't immediately be obvious to what the benefit of that is, like, can you describe some of the use cases and why might that be, might be helpful? Oh, sure. So say you're on, so you're you're surfing the web, you come across an awesome link, and you want to share it with, you know, your your set of friends you can you know post it to pounce send it to your friends it's, it's not super important like you don't want to bug them via im and you don't want to send an email because like uh kind of a big hassle but you just it's like oh this funny thing i saw on youtube i'll send it to my friends so that's really like the most common use case i guess but there's also events so you're having an event coming up and like you just want to send it to your friends you don't want to send an email you don't want to go through the hassle of doing a big invite system or or whatever, you just put it on Pounce, it's an event, people can show up. So is this something that is sort of open all day long and becomes part of your all day workflow? Yeah, no, it, it becomes sort of this, it's not super important, you don't have to know it right now, but it's sort of like interesting stuff that's happening with the people you know, but it's not urgent, like it doesn't have the urgency of email, like you don't have to respond to everything you're getting. Uh, we do have private messages, which you do kind of feel more of an obligation to respond, but in the general friends only, it's like you can respond to it, you don't have to, and it. It's it's much more like it's like I am, but without the time critical element too. So. So so why did uh, why did you start building pounds? So I I've always been fascinated by um, the idea of sharing stuff online and like sending around links and sending pictures and you know like I'm one of those people that sends like lol cats to people and stuff. So I, I wanted like a way to to do that that was more fun. And so you just sat down one day. Do you remember like when the light bulb went off? It, it, yeah, it doesn't go like that. Uh, so, or it didn't for me. Maybe some people have these magical, magical things. It, it was like this idea that had been forming for several years. Like, I kind of want to do something in in the area of messaging. And and uh, you know, what happened was I ended up leaving the job I was at at the time, um, and I didn't know what I was going to do. I was like heartbroken. I had no idea what I was going to do for work and. So I started just playing around and building my own web application, and then um, uh, Kevin, Kevin Rose, and Daniel Burka were also thinking of working on their own application, and um, we ended up getting together and working on it together. So that they helped encourage me to actually finish it instead of, you know, I never thought I wanted to build a web application uh, of my own, but they were like, no, you should do it. And, so, so how long have you been at it now? Well, I started developing it last, the beginning of last March, so a year ago, and uh, it launched in June. So, so started developing in March, launch in June. That's pretty fast, and you've been just kind of iterating. Is it full time for you now? Yep, it's a full time job, um, and we just hired our second employee, so I, our second developer. So I'm very, very excited about that. Um, so, what what's been the biggest surprise? Oh, the biggest surprise. Okay, I, well. I don't know if this is a surprise about myself, but I have a fascination with other other entrepreneurs, and, and this is recent. I've had a recent fascination with moguls and tycoons, like people who are entrepreneurs, but like extreme. Like, like uh, I, I saw the movie There Will Be Blood. Have you seen that? Like, oh my gosh, you have to see it. Um, I, I'm like fascinated by these character studies, and I'm, I'm fascinated by the moguls that are out there currently, like media moguls, and, 
you know, internet tycoons and things. And like, I, I'm really interested in what makes person, a person go to that level, right? So I'm interested. Not that I would do it myself, but I'm curious as to what the motivation is. Yeah, so like what makes them tick? Yeah, so, so yeah. I mean, I mean, it takes a lot of energy and, and I'm clearly like this seems to switch you on and you're, you know, you're very energetic when you're talking about pounce, like, um, you know, where do you, where do you think that comes from and what is it you think that that inspiration, you know, is where, where that comes from? Well, I mean, I love the application, right? Like I use it all the time. And I think that's, that's key when you're developing an application is it's always easiest to develop it for, you know, whatever, you know, stereotype or person that you are or what your group, your people, you know, like, uh, you know, it's easiest to develop it for yourself. I mean, it makes you really, you know, I developed Pounce because I use it and I built it for the things that I use it for and I figured other people would <laughs> have the same needs. So you figure there's enough people out there kind of like you. I so there's so. a market we'll for this out. thing. Otherwise, otherwise I have a personal app that works great for me, which yeah. A lot of web apps end up, like I've built other things that I'm the only one that loves them, so. <laughs> if you were to try and answer the question, what is the future of web apps, what would you say? Oh, future of web apps. I, I mean, I tried to predict the future in different areas, but I, I'd have to say, in my talk earlier, I was like, hmm. Uh, small apps, simple apps. We'll see them getting simpler and more single functioned. Single function applications, yeah, cool. Yeah, that work with other applications, like like you can plug them into other things. If you were to say, you know, tell me about something that you think you've noticed in recent memory that's really cool, what would it be? Awesome stuff on the web. Um, uh, I've been actually, I just, I was just talking to the social thing guy, so it's in, it's in my head. So Matt from social thing, social thing is pretty fun. I've been liking that, but it's in private beta until until next week, so you'll have to check it out. It, it combines all your your sort of sites together so I can see my Flickr photos and my Pout stuff all, all to, you know, or my contacts, all their stuff too. So it really combines every, all the stuff together. It's kind of fun. Cool. cool, so if you uh, now put on your thinking cap or maybe just your, uh, you know, your visionary kind of goggles being an entrepreneur and you look into the future, and assuming the web is still around in 20 years, what does the user experience look like? Oh gosh, I really hope that people are wearing little glasses and, and typing like this and they, like they're wearing their computers and it's like part of their brain and like so when they want to go to, to Wikipedia or whatever, they're just like infinitely smart because they can use the power, you know, kind of like the Borg. I guess I would predict uh, in 20 years I want to see the freaking Borg. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <I haven't... laughs> You're cool. All right. Better or worse. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's you finished my thought there. That's you articulated that for me. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. No, good deal. That's cool. Um, all right. So the leather. I don't know. I don't know if we want to look like work. the Borg. Leather. Like yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Do you think that sort of impacted like your outlook on the world at all as you surround yourself? I know when I go down to San Fran, it's like you're surrounded by people who are all interweb all the time. And, uh, you know, I, I think it, it starts to shift your outlook a little. Do, do, have you, do you feel that way or could you describe that if you do? Well, the first, the first year I lived there, it was really exciting. Like I got, I learned way more in the first year of living in San Francisco about the industry that I'm in than I would have ever anywhere else. Just being around people that talked about it a lot and were excited about it. Um, but it's also, it's, it's good to remain, I, I like remembering what it's like to not be a super tech geek, right? I remember those days and I like to keep that in mind when I do work. How do you do that? Um, I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, I think of my mom or I think of my sister or I think of my dad or I think of my grandpa or whatever. Um, but the thing is, I used to be that way, so I just try and remember, like, would old Leah have, have understood this? Cool. Okay, Leah, thanks so much for doing this.